In order to perform the coincident mate between this screw and the housing, I need to pick on the surface of the screw under the head. I can right click and pick on select other to get to that surface. I can also right click and drag to rotate the screw. Or I can hold down the middle mouse button to drag and rotate the whole assembly. An alternative is to right click on the screw and go to component preview window. This opens up the screw in a separate window while still in the assembly environment. From the window, we can rotate and control pick on the face of the screw and then click on the corresponding face on the housing and perform the coincident mate. And then we can go on to perform the concentric mate. The component preview window can especially be helpful when there is a huge size difference between the mating components. The component preview window can also be useful in checking distances between components without doing any cross sections. In this example, there's a chip on the underside of this board. If I want to find out the distance between this chip and the housing, I can open up the board in the component preview window and control select the two relevant faces. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you will get a readout of that distance. 